Let us pray. Say, O oh Lord Jesus, I thank you. I give your name glory. I give your name glory. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. And wishing me well. Wishing me victory. All the time. All the time. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. May be seated. Our simple topic today. My situation calls for intervention. My situation calls for intervention. I'm reading Daniel chapter 2, verse 1. Now in the second year of Nebuchadnezzar's reign, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams, and his spirit was so troubled that his sleep left him. Then King Nebuchadnezzar gave the command to call the magicians, the astrologers, the sorcerers, and the Chaldeans to tell the king his dream. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said to them, I have had a dream, and my spirit is anxious to know the dream. Then the Chaldeans spoke to the king in Aramaic, O king, live forever. Tell your servants the dream, and we will give the interpretation. The king answered and said to the Chaldeans, My decision is firm. If you do not make known to me the dream and its interpretation, you shall be cut in pieces, and your houses shall be made an ash heap. However, if you tell the dream and its interpretation, you shall receive from me gifts, rewards, and great honor. Therefore, tell me the dream and its interpretation. They answered again and said, Let the king tell his servants the dream, and we will give its interpretation. The king answered and said, I know for certain that you would gain time because you see that my decision is firm. If you do not make known to me the dream, there is only one decree for you, for you have agreed to speak lying and corrupt words before me till the time has changed. Therefore, tell me the dream and I shall know that you can give me its interpretation. The Chaldeans answered the king and said, There is not a man on earth who can tell the king's matter. Therefore, no king, no lord, or ruler has ever asked such things of any magician, astrologer, or Chaldean. It is a difficult thing that the king requests and there is no other who can tell it to the king except the gods, whose dwelling is not with the flesh. For this reason, the king was angry and very furious and gave the command to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. So the decree went out and they began killing the wise men and they sought Daniel and his companions to kill them. Then with counsel and wisdom, Daniel answered Arioch, the captain of the king's guard, who had gone out to kill the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said to Arioch, the king's guard, why is the decree from the king so urgent? Then Arioch made the decision known to Daniel. So Daniel went in and asked the king to give him time, that he may tell the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made the decision known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, that they might seek the mercies from the God of heaven concerning this secret, so that Daniel 
and his companions might not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then the secret was revealed to Daniel in a night vision. So Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his, and he changes the times and the seasons. He removes the kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in darkness and light dwells with him. I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers, that you have given me wisdom and might and have now made known to me what we asked of you. For you have made known to us the king's demand. Therefore, Daniel went to Arioch, whom the king had appointed to destroy the wise men of Babylon. He went and said thus to him, do not destroy the wise men of Babylon. Take me before the king, and I'll tell the king the interpretation. Then Arioch quickly brought Daniel before the king, and thus said to him, I have found a man of the captives of Judah who will make known to the king the interpretation. The king answered and said to Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, Are you able to make known to me the dream which I have seen and its interpretation? Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king has demanded, the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, and the soothsayers, cannot declare to the king, but there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets and he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the latter days. Your dream and the visions of your head upon your bed were these. He said, I've had a dream and my spirit is so troubled. He called all the magicians to tell the dream and interpret it. They said, no way. They said, no. You are waiting until the time comes. The dream happened. No. This situation of yours is like a dream of Nebuchadnezzar. It needs an interpreter. Say, my situation, my situation is like the dream, is like the dream, dream of, King Nebuchadnezzar. of King Nebuchadnezzar. He said, tell me the dream and the interpretation. Say, my situation, my situation is calling, is calling for, intervention. for intervention. I need somebody, I need somebody to, intervene. to intervene. That is why, that is why I'm, here I'm here at the arena, at the arena of liberty. Of liberty. <laughs> he told them, hey, if you don't tell the dream and this interpretation, listen to me. I slaughter you, and your houses will be made an ash heap. Hey, but if you tell the dream and this interpretation, I will give you gifts. Oh, nah, I promote you. Whatever around your prayer, you want to be honored. Whether you are doing business, you want to be honored. You want to profit. You want to succeed. 
Yes? Yes. Success, victory, these are honors. Hallelujah. Amen. If you rest and you are victorious, they honor you. They praise you. They pay you. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you don't succeed, ha, ah, God forbid. I pray that your coming here is a success. Amen. Your coming here, let it be a success in your business. Amen. Your coming here, let it be a success in your finances. Amen. A success to your finances. Amen. Your coming here, let it be a success to your finances. Amen. To your business, Amen. to your marriage, Amen. to your relationship, Amen. to everything you touch. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. He said, My spirit is so troubled. The debts you have, your spirit is so troubled. The house you failed to finish, your spirit is so troubled. But Daniel went back and asked the king, no, no, don't worry, give us time that we may tell the dream and interpret it. I know. He went back to his home and asked his companions to pray to the God of heaven that he may tell, reveal the secret of the king's dream to go be the glory. Amen. I'm reading chapter 2, verse 16. So Daniel went in and asked the king to give him time that he might tell the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made the decision known to Hananiah, Misael, and Azariah, his companions, that they might seek mercies from the God of heaven concerning this secret, so that Daniel and his companions might not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then the secret was revealed to Daniel in the night vision. So Daniel blessed the God of heaven, and then Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his, and he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Besides all your busy schedule, you decided to come to Uganda Hallelujah. Amen. And ask Kakande, your companion. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I'm here, I'm here with my companion. Prophet Samuel Kakande. That we may pray to the God of heaven. That the God of heaven. May reveal, May reveal the secret, the secret of, my of my situation. Hallelujah. Amen. My hallelujah belongs to Jesus. you. My hallelujah belongs to you. You May the Lord give you the good answer. Amen. May the Lord give you the answer of peace. Amen. May the Lord give you the answer of peace. Amen. May the Lord give you the answer of peace. Amen. May the Lord give you the answer of peace. Amen. May the Lord give you the answer of peace. Amen. May the Lord give you the answer of peace. 
The answer of peace in your business. The answer of peace in your finances. The answer of peace in your relationship. The answer of peace in your marriage. The answer of peace in your body. In Jesus' holy name. He said, no, we want to know. He said, oh, do not interpretation come from God. May God give you the answer of peace. Hallelujah. 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 Genesis 41, verse 14. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him quickly out of the dungeon, and he shaved, changed his clothing, and came to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, I've had a dream, and there is no one who can interpret it, but I have had it said of you that you can understand a dream to interpret it. So Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. God will give Pharaoh the answer of peace. Hallelujah. Amen. May God give you the answer of peace. In a business, the answer of peace. In your finances, the answer of peace. In your marriage, the answer of peace. In your building, the answer of peace. I receive. In your career, the answer of peace. I receive. May God give you the answer of peace. I receive. In your body, I the answer of peace. I receive. Be here. I receive. Be here. I receive. Be delivered. I receive. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. The Father in heaven. I'm Baba. shall have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him friend lend me three loaves for a friend of mine has come to me on his journey and I have nothing to set before him and he'll answer from within and say do not trouble me the door is now shut and my children are with me in bed I cannot rise and give to you I said to you, though he will not rise and give to him because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. To God be the glory. So God is not worried of 
your situation. No. But the only snug over there is your weakness in asking. You ask once, you don't want to know. The second, you complain. Oh Lord, I think today will be a good day. Thank you, Jesus. It will be a good day. You finish. On your way, you find somebody like him. But you have prayed once and said, I think today it will be a good day. Thank you, Lord. Just walk. Next year, the one who was saying, not pass, has been touched and taken away from the way. Because the man of God came in prayer. As much as you are asking good day, don't forget to have two things. Abide in me and I in you. Because 15.4 of John, don't forget this. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. This must be a practice. What does the word practice mean? To pre-act as it is. If you know that the former winner in the race ran four minutes to the point, at home or in your country, you must try as much as possible to run before you go to the race three minutes if you are to win. If you fail to catch up with the three minutes, don't go and try him. Because you know already he ran four minutes. Don't be anxious. Don't even hope for winning because you cannot make it. So practice means to pre-act as it is. Make it three minutes. Now with the three minutes, you know that you're going to win. No, I'm not teaching you English. No, 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 no. We are going for football. You first make the practice. You pre-act as it is. You put even the goals. You put even the... the, the if you don't do that, you are not sure that you are going to win. Hallelujah. So every day, you must pre-act as it is. If you abide in me and my words in you, oh, you ask anything, I'll do it. Lord Jesus, take more of me. Give me more of you. Take more of my weakness. Give me more of your strength. Take more of my ignorance. Give me more of your knowledge. Even if you don't know anything, how to answer where you are going at the office, let me tell you what will happen. You will be seated somewhere waiting at the waiting room. You will get a snap like a I've seen that they are asking me this question and I have answered it. Immediately you enter, hello, how are you? You will see that the same question they are asking you and you have got the answer because he has taken your ignorance of that answer. He has given you his knowledge of the answer. advise you how to answer if you go with him. Salvation is not something to claim. Salvation is a reality. 
if you have been claiming you are out of the line, it is a truth, it is a reality, not papers, not even words. No, no. Because Romans 8, 8, 9. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, mm -hmm. but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Mm -hmm. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Mm -hmm. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm born again. Who told you you are born again without the spirit of God? Who told you you are rich without money? I'm a rich man without money to go be the glory. Amen. Don't forget, sir. Madam, take more of me. Give me more of you. Take more of my weakness. Give me more of your strength. Even when people abuse you, that's not the issue. Look at it. Take more of my shame. Hallelujah. Amen. Give me more of your victory. Even if somebody knows how to run, that day he will stumble somewhere. Even if he knows how to jump, that day something will happen. Even if somebody is abusing you, he, he okay, come. You pastor. You pastor. I came from there. Take more of me. Give me more of you. You more pastor. Of me, more of you. What more are you doing me, there? More of you. More of me. More of you. More of me. You pastor. Jesus, take more of me. Give me more of you. You pastor. More of me. More of you. I say you pastor. Look at this Sir. one who's pointing at the pastor. Sir. Look at him. See what is happening Sir. to him. The man of God who came in prayer. See how the God was praying to us. Touched him. Taken him off. Now he can't say anything. He's down on the ground. Why do you bother abusing the man? Why do you bother answering him? They find you at your job. You are fighting your workers. You are abusing. You, 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 you. you. Why do you do that? You are abusing your neighbors. <laughs> Forgive them, they don't know what they are doing because you have Jesus in you. Walk like a boss. I say, once he's in you, you have no problem. Yes. If it is a mountain, he gives you the strength to climb that mountain. Yes. No mountain you live with. You just climb it. Every mountain is taller than you. That's why it is a mountain. If somebody has made himself a mountain, you climb him. Me, I'll climb you. Say, I'll fly over that situation. I may not climb it. But I know. In Christ Jesus, I'll fly over. Because God is reliable. He loves me. He bless me. It is all over. Believe me that the real faith working. You are taller than me. If I don't climb you, I'll fly over you. Amen. Take more of my weakness. Lord Jesus, give me more of your strength. More of my weakness, more of your strength. Lord Jesus, it may not be, but it must be. I may not climb the mountain, but I'll fly over. Yes. Say, I may not climb the situation, I may not climb the situation but, I'll fly over. but I'll fly over. 
in the name of Jesus. I'll fly over. Somebody will come and say, how much are they troubling you? Let me pay for you. You are flying over, my friend. Amen. Don't bother, I pray, I beg. Don't bother with the situation. I have a lot of problems. Who told you? If you are with him, you have a lot of solutions. And one solution you have got will solve other people's problems. Amen. Continue in prayer. Continue in. Yeah. However much they laugh at you, that's not an issue. Continue in prayer. Yeah. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers. Even when somebody says you're poor, that's not an issue to abuse him. You poor people! Don't answer. He has given you the way forward to ask for blessings. Father, you heard whatever people said, and you know that I love you and you love me. I want to respond now. Lord Jesus, bless me with the money, with the property. And that is how I'm going to respond. And that is how I'm going to respond. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I've started responding. I've started responding. Don't believe what they abuse you. Don't believe what they said to you. Consult your giver. 419 of Philippians. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You have to carry along with you the problem solver. You must carry along with you Christ Jesus in cash. Jesus lives in us by the person of the Holy Spirit. Peter, Paul, those people you're talking about, they carried Jesus in cash. As you carry money in your pocket, mm, this is cash. Yes, you cannot doubt because I have dollars in cash. If you challenge me, I don't answer you, I give to you. He said, Silver and God, I don't have, but what I have, rise up and walk. Peter was carrying Jesus in cash. He did not carry Jesus in words, no way. Carry Jesus in cash. First Corinthians 2 1 to 5. Carry Jesus in cash. And I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, mm -hmm. but in demonstration of the spirit mm -hmm. and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, mm -hmm. but in the power of, of God. God. Carry him when your heart means it. Move me, move you, move me. Ooh, we, when your heart is thinking about your debts, and you say, move me, move, oh, what are we going to eat? You said, move me, move, what are we going to eat? How are the children going back to school? Move me, move you. How are you are carrying confusion? You are not meditating. Hallelujah. Carry Jesus. 
any cash. Be serious and you mean it. Good morning. Gentlemen, good morning. Now I'm carrying Jesus in cash. Watch me. Gentlemen, good morning. <laughs> so what it means? <laughs> But it means to carry Jesus in cash, shaking his hand. Jesus in him touched him. What is it, sir? Praise Jesus. When man of God came to reach me, it's like my hand was putting it into a hot water. This man is one as uh... Yes, my name is Simon Mokai. Huh. I'm first scared. You have too much power. I have Jesus. Who yes, has you have too Jesus. much power. I don't have too much power. I only have Jesus. I have who? Jesus. Not too much power, no. I have who? Jesus. And Jesus stay in us in the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a force of which God is behind. You can feel the wind. You may not see it. But hey, the wind can take this building. You believe it? Yes. The water can come and take away this building. You believe it? Yes. Yet the fire can consume it. But who is behind the water? And who is behind the fire? God is behind it. One eight Acts of Apostles. But you shall receive power mm -hmm. when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Mm -hmm. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. But you receive power when? When the Holy Spirit has come upon you. He asked them a question. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? 19234 Acts of Apostles. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? He said to them, mm. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they say to him, We have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, Into what then were you baptized? So they said, Into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. To go be the 